in this video I'd actually like to give you tips um, on how to make the best of whatever foundation you have. Now, I'm not going to sit here and claim that all foundations are created equal. They're obviously not. Anyone who's ever tried foundation, more than two different kinds, um, knows that um, not all foundations are created equal. Some of them are actually superior. Nevertheless, I strongly believe that um, about 40 if not 60% of how um, your foundation looks on the skin um, depends on um, the texture of your skin. Now, foundation is great at evening out the skin tone. Um, so if you've got like diffuse redness like I do, or um, you've got some um, scarring um, or discoloration, it will correct that um, superbly. It's designed to actually do that. Um, most foundations though are not really good at improving skin texture. So um, if your skin texture is kind of rough because you have like active acne or scarring or dry patches on your skin, um, most foundations are not going to do um, very much to improve that aspect of your skin and they're just going to sit on top of it and kind of um, exacerbate any kind of skin texture issues that you have. Um, so that's why it's so key to actually um, improve the texture of your skin before you actually use any foundation because um, truthfully you can buy a $60 Chanel foundation um, and um, if your skin isn't in really good condition it's not going to look very good um, it's just not so that's kind of like the brutal reality of it um, but there are some steps that you can take um, even if you don't have perfect skin um, to prepare it for foundation and to kind of improve it um, so that any foundation you choose will look um, that much better and they kind of slow off that skin mechanically by by just, you know, the friction of, of the beads uh, against your skin. And um, one that I can recommend from the drugstore, which is, I think, worldwide available and um, really good, is the St. Eve's line of um, exfoliators. They're really good, inexpensive, work great, very kind of cost-effective. I mean, a tube like this will last you forever. It really will. Um, from the drugstore, I really recommend the Clinique 7-Day um, Scrub Cream. So it's kind of a more pricey, um, equally cost effective and um, this one actually contains salicylic acid so, so it actually penetrates your pores and cleans them out um, more effectively than um, other such products. So this is really nice as well. The other type of exfoliators on the market are kind of um, enzymatic um, exfoliators and this is one um, example. This is um, a Van Diacnil. <laughs> It's um, a product um, which is intended for people with mild um, acne or, or just people who have a tendency to get clogged pores. Um, it contains both Retin-A and um, glycolic acid, so um, it kind of um, slows off dead skins enzymatically. So you kind of put it on at night and um, um, you wash it off in the morning and it kind of um, chemically um, dissolves that tissue on your skin. So. It's really great if you've got active acne because I would not recommend using any kind of a grainy scrub if you've got active acne because this will just kind of um, really irritate the skin. Uh, might actually hurt and it will definitely spread bacteria all over your face so that's like a big no-no if you've got um, kind of active um, acne. Um, and I also um, recommend it for people with sensitive skin because um, um, you don't have to kind of um, rub with anything harsh um, against your skin so this is really nice. Yeah, so this is one alternative. Um, there are many different products like this on the market. This is just one that I really like. Once you've um, exfoliated, um, it's really equally important to moisturize. And um, in my favorites um, for January, I actually spoke about um, this moisturizing lotion. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll just repeat it. Um, whatever moisturizer you choose to use, this is just mine. Um, it's from the same series as my Hydrabio um, toner moisturizing toner. It works well for me, but um, different things work um, well for different people. Whatever moisturizer you choose to use and that works for you is great. Um, but any moisturizer that you choose to use will work um, so much better if you actually apply it to damp skin. And not many people seem to know this, so um, it doesn't really matter if it's skin damp because you just washed your face and it still hasn't dried completely, or um, if you use um, thermal spring water like this one, or if you use a moisturizing lotion, like this one, or the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist. So um, just um, apply it to still damp skin, and um, um, by doing that, you'll actually seal in the moisture that you have on top of your skin um, into the deeper layers of your skin, and your skin will be that much more moisturized. So it's an easy trick that um, works wonders, and is really kind of um, 
great um, for winter time where um, everybody suffers from drier skin because of the central heating and just um, just the fact that it's so cold outside. So once you do that, um, your skin will already be so much more smoother than if you hadn't done those steps. Um, another step that you can take, um, which personally I don't do every day just because it's a little bit time consuming and um, usually just exfoliating and moisturizing is quite enough, um, is actually using a primer. And my primer of choice is this. This is actually um, not a primer, makeup primer per se. This is um, the Manistat, Manistat, um, correct me if I'm kind of butchering the pronunciation of this, um, anti-chafing um, powder gel. I'm actually going to make a separate video on this product, so um, for now I'm just going to say that it works perfect, perfect, perfect um, as a face primer. So um, uh, it's actually clear, completely clear, and you just kind of um, um, apply a little bit to your whole face. And this um, creates this really nice kind of silicone powdery finish to your face and makeup just glides on like a dream. And this actually prolongs the wear of any makeup, so it's a must have if I'm doing um, any bridal work. And um, these steps really work wonders in terms of how your foundation is going to look because um, if you exfoliate, moisturize, prime, um, your skin will look really, really, really smooth and um, your foundation will go on like a dream, like butter.